This week on Buck Commander. So this episode is all about Willie. That's fitting. If you ask Willie, he's boss hog. He's the original Buck Commander. As our supreme leader, he's not without his quirks. I'll give him this. He He's lazy. I'll give him that. We're going to die. Do I want to say anything nice about Willie? No. So this episode is all about Willie. That's fitting. Did we just do this? All Wait, about we... Willie part 10. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, the original buck commander, boss hog, and our supreme leader. Willie. Huh? You ready to hunt, dude? Uh, about 6 o'clock. I thought it was going 6.30. Uh -huh. Let's just say, as our supreme leader, he's not without his quirks. Sleeps in. That's like numero uno. And, he, and he's... Hey, he, don't, don't crack on sleeping in, though. I sleep in. Oh! Damn up. All right, I'll come check on you in a minute. We should tell time. I'm just watching you. Wake up. It's time to hunt. Do I want to say anything nice about Willie? No. He cooks good burgers. He dang sure cooks a good burger now. We can all agree on that. That's Ooh. solid burger. Oh, that's good. I don't know what Willie's biggest quirk is, but I know what his biggest problem is, and that's the inner tube around his waist. All right, well, we made it here to Luke's crash last night. I'm gonna go check out his farm. Uh, we ain't gonna hunt, we kinda slept in. But, he slept uh, in, I wow. had two big shooters waiting on him. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Does Willie take hunting seriously? You know, I think the thing is, for all of us, we take the hunting part seriously. It's the other part that we just sort of try and have fun with and not take too serious. I'll give him this. He He's lazy. I'll give him that. That's sweet. So Willie just doesn't do well in anything less than an extremely comfortable environment. All right, we are back in the Taj Mahal here in Arkansas. Um, we've got a giant deer stand. I'm not kidding. We can put 12 people in here. got a recliner in every redneck. Camera guys are on a bucket, but he's comfortable. We got a guy walking around out there on the edge of the property. Right where we're hoping to see the deer come out. I've noticed that deer do not like walking where humans are walking. Pretty consistent. We're gonna die. Oh, crap. Well, we've made a severe move here. We left the nicest deer stand I've ever been in to the absolutely scariest one I've ever been in due to a human being walking around. So now, we're in this crappy dead trap with the sun directly in my face. Despite all the negativity, Willie always manages to shoot more deer than we do. 
This is not how you draw it up, boys. For the last several years, I've mostly been using crossbows. But this year I wanted to stretch it out. So I hooked up my buddy Marcus Luttrell to get some long range pointers. Willie's pretty deadly with a rifle though. I gave him his due on the, with a rifle. Mm-hmm. Pull that thing in there. Head straight up and down. Head's always straight up and down. Uh -huh. And then you pull that thing into you. Mm-hmm. That was two. Head on? Yeah. So 4.8. Yeah, first build out and pull that. Nice shot. Uh, it was a little left. Oh, we're holding left. Yeah, I was holding a little left. Yeah, yeah. Was it middle or? Yeah, I got it. I'm not even in the long range discussion. My camera guys, they always make me wait till they get way too close. You got to kind of wrangle Tombo in because otherwise he's going to do whatever he wants. If you give Tombo an inch, he'll take a mile. Or two. Or three or four. So far, the longest shot in Buck Commander history is by Luke Bryan. He shot a deer in southwest Texas about 385 yards. Shoot that deer. Hold on, guys. How far is that? That's 387. Hold on, let me get settled. Get a six year old deer. Ready? Ready. I heard it hit him, didn't it? Hold on, watch out. Could y'all tell if I hit that deer? God, I don't know, Luke. I mean, to me, he ran hard like you did, but I don't know. It's hard to tell if he was hit from that distance, but we'll, uh, we're on the way. We'll know here in five minutes. What's that right there? That was a big buck right there. Got him? In the dang road! In the road, baby! Heck yeah! Smoked him. Buddy. <laughs> farthest shot I've ever made. I don't, I, it's the farthest shot I've ever made on the animal. It was, we ranged him, it was 387. Yeah, that was never official. And he fell dead in the road. So, uh, easy recovery. Easy cleanup, easy pickup. By the way, check that, because I didn't believe it when he, I was there. When he brought it in, I was like, we'll, we'll go. No, we won't go back to that place. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, jackrabbit hole. Well, we're set up here in Texas, um, hanging out with my buddy Marcus Luttrell. And uh, I always come through here every year and um, just to hang out and have fun and sitting in the stand and seeing what we can find here to shoot. and. Um, we ain't seen one yet, though. He's at 400. Let's get him. Hey, you ain't seen me dropping deer at 400 like that, have you? Good deer. We definitely saw this uh, drop coming off, and uh, what a stud, man. I'm down here in Texas, my good friend uh, Marcus Latrell, and uh, yeah, man, we're excited to be here, excited to get this deer, and uh, yeah, the gun performed well, uh, dropped him pretty much where he was. So, uh, this is where you like tracking him, right here in the middle of the Sendero, and uh, got a lot of character, and I'm glad to have him. We are in camp. Got a few deer here. We're looking for it's super dry and it's warm. It's supposed to get a little cooler tomorrow, so I don't know if we'll see anything tonight, but you never know. Uh, cool. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. Sometimes when it comes to hunting, Willie's not always the most positive. I've noticed that. Yeah. 
think by Willie pretty optimistic about tonight. Um, no, not really. <clears throat> We're sitting here in a redneck. We ain't gonna see nothing. We won't see a deer. It's the day we never saw a deer. Are you getting paid today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. Somebody's getting something out of this. I just don't have a good feeling about this, but um, this place has been cursed. My expectations today, um, I would say two, two percent. We have said for years that Willie is the luckiest man on the planet. Somehow with him, it just kind of falls in his lap. You know, he doesn't really have to work for it. It just kind of shows up and happens. Vinny, you didn't think we was gonna say anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the deal, you gotta make your own luck. You ain't gonna kill a deer at the camp. And you definitely ain't gonna kill a deer at the American Idol set. They know if they're gonna keep up with Boss Hog, they better, they better start shooting stuff, so. You gotta put your time in. This is one of those you can't kill anything unless you're sitting in the stand, so. We're putting our time in. We saw the deer after this eight pointer. We saw him last night. We were sitting right in the woods and we walked out and that sucker was sitting right in front of this redneck. Just bad call. Sad, but that's hunting. This way, or you don't think he's coming out by the bottle. To the left, yeah. the one we was after. Okay. Earlier I said we had a 2% chance of succeeding. I was way off. I've seen a lot of pictures of that boy. I've got more pictures of him than some of my kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. -y. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh, that is a giant apron. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's like went a four wheeler somewhere for. Oh, golly. Gosh, I'm gonna drive around with him in my truck for a week. Look at that, bro. Oh, whoa. Yeah! Yeah! Morning.
Jacob, you thought you were seeing the end of the cutoffs, weren't you? Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Nah. I didn't want it to die. I'm the Bill Belichick. Hey, Fuck back. So for the last few years, I've had a bit of a good luck charm. I won't even leave the house without my Bill Belichick sweater. My Bill Belichick uh, Under Armour orange has put me on a roll. I don't have to wear orange, but it's kind of like a good luck charm for me. So, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, son. I'm gonna keep Belichicking. That shirt has been with me, everything I've shot this year. So, that's our good luck charm. Willie always has some sort of good luck charm. A couple years back, he had the little Willie. He also had this little action figure he carried around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got him. Good shot, Willie. Good shot, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird to me that it's named Little Willie. Good job, Little Willie. That is a great. Great 10 point. Willie loves him some Willie. You can call it superstition, you can call it whatever you want, but hey, me and the Bill Belichick sweater have done some damage. I broke my lucky Bill Belichick orange, so I don't know if it has the same power, if it's just near, or if it has to be on me. So we're taking a chance here on this. I mean, I feel like if it's in staying with me, I feel good, but we could screw this whole thing up by not having it on. I'd like to thank Bill Belichick for coming up with this look and being so successful. And uh, I didn't know if it would work when I was still in the stand, if just the shirt's with me, but apparently it needs to be on. So he put it on and within five minutes, he walks out. So I'm just saying, something, something, there's something about it. So it's worked for us this year for sure, so. So that's my wintertime rig. You wanna see my summertime? Willie Robertson Jorts, made by me. <laughs> <laughs>